Hey, how's it going? It's Sam Frost here, and today I don't have advice, I've actually got a review. I'm reviewing a product called Optio. Uh, so Optio is a Google Ads management tool, and what Optio does is, or is aimed to do is basically making Google Ads management easier and more effective. So I'm gonna be reviewing it uh, really from the perspective of an end user who's running Google Ads for their own business, but I'll touch on it from the perspective of using it as an agency management platform as well. Uh, you know, really what I wanna do is, is give you a good sense of whether or not this platform is worth using. So obviously with Google Ads, a key part of success is, is optimizing and sort of day-to-day -day management of your campaigns. Uh, and that can be quite time consuming. Uh, you know, even if you just manage in-house, if you've got a larger account, or you're relatively new to Google Ads, there can be a lot of work that goes into it. And as you start scaling up, if you're an agency, it obviously takes more and more time. You probably have to hire more resource, bring it all in, you know, on board to, to make that management effective. So Optio's pitch really is that it will save you time. It will make your management, you know, less labor intensive and also more effective. So the way Optio works uh, is you, you basically register your account. You can get a 30 day free trial uh, and pricing starts from 97 US dollars per month at the moment. And the price may change by the time you watch this video. Uh, but basically you set up your Optio account. Then what you do is you link your Google Ads account across. It works totally fine with, you know, client manager accounts as well, MCC accounts. Uh, but it also works with just a standard Google Ads account as well that does not manage through a client manager interface. Uh, and you, you link it up, and what happens then is Opto actually gets to work at basically analyzing your account and looking for optimization opportunities. So it will look at a whole lot of different things for you. Um, you know, one, one feature that I, I want to call out specifically is, is you can go in and you can set a budget for your account for the month, and then Optio will see how you're tracking against that budget. It will show you top line statistics as you scroll down your list of accounts or through your account. Uh, you, you know, you can do all that sort of performance analysis stuff that you would often do within Google Ads interface, but most of it can actually be done from within Optio, which is quite handy. It's not as fully featured as using the Google Ads interface itself, but it is quite nice to be able to do this. Uh, but as far as the, the core functionality of the program or application goes, what it's really about is helping speed up that, that management process and helping you find optimization opportunities. So an example of what Optio will do for you is if you're running multiple ad copies in an ad group, it will determine which one is performing the best. So you'll get recommendations saying things like, you know, pause losing ad in an ad group. So you then be able to open it up and you can see that, you know, ad copy A, which is the, the winner, that's getting a 7% click-through rate, but ad copy B is only getting a 4% click-through rate. And if you've got enough data to, to sort of judge that that's a valid, uh, uh, you know, test, then you can actually pause that losing ad copy from within Optio. Uh, on the reverse side, if there's only one ad in an ad group, it will suggest you to create another ad. So as you go through, there are loads of different suggestions it will make. There's, there's suggestions around ad scheduling, location, bidding, uh, ad copy, as I mentioned, keyword selection, you know, pausing, losing keywords. Uh, you know, if you've got a keyword in an ad group that, that's, you know, costing you lots of money, it will show you, you know, this keyword cost you $150 in the last month, uh, and you didn't get any conversions, but your average cost per conversion in this ad group is $25. And so what you're able to do then is make that call, or should I potentially pause that keyword because it's not working for me? So really, you know, the optimizations that if you're managing your Google Ads properly, you'd be doing on a day-to-day -day basis or a weekly basis or monthly basis anyway, it's just trying to speed that up for you. Uh, one of the niftier features with it is you can go through and review the recommendations and then certain types of them you can click just a plus button, a checkbox, and then push them all out all at once. Now I don't recommend you go in and just push out uh, optimizations without checking into them first because one thing with Optio is, is the recommendations don't always seem to be the most logical in my opinion. Um, sometimes, for example, with performance suggestions, it will make a conclusion with probably not quite enough data to act on. Uh, you know, they may dispute that, but it seems like sometimes there isn't quite enough data. But overall, the interface is very easy to work with and the functionality is very straightforward. Uh, I think if you are going to use Opteo, a key thing to bear in mind with it really is that you're, you're using it uh, not as a total replacement for hands-on management of your account, uh, and more what you want to do is get your account to a structure that's that's really optimized for sort of you know ongoing management and then use Opteo in conjunction with regular reviews. Uh, you know, it's not so great for analyzing search terms, for example. Uh, you know, but it is really helpful for working out which ad copies are performing best in an ad group. Uh, you know, or, or getting suggestions for you know location-based bidding, for example. 
you know you may even find that what you'd prefer to do is run it and then actually manually implement the recommendations that are made. Any recommendation that comes up, you can snooze the recommendation for, I think off the top of my head, one week, one month, or, or forever if you think, hey, this just isn't relevant to me at all. Uh, and you can actually go in and control which type of recommendations it looks at in the account. And there are a very you know, detailed and exhaustive list of different recommendations it's going to look at. Um, so as far as whether or not Optio works, well look, I found the accounts I've used it on, if the account structure is right, and you're diligent in using it and not just pushing out optimizations willy-nilly, it definitely does benefit and it is a good time saver. Even if you were managing an account in-house by yourself, you know, if you can swing the 97 US dollars a month, you might find that it saves you far more time than that, which you can reinvest into other things like content creation or social media or, or you know, planning your next campaigns. So, you know, don't think that it's only for agencies. For from an agency sort of you know client management perspective definitely a very helpful tool yeah, even things like budget alerts are really good so you, you'll get a notification via email if spend jumps through the roof uh, you know you can go in and check out that something's happened you'll get notifications if you, you're getting really good you know cost per conversion and you can forward those onto your clients uh, so, so there's a whole load of good functionality in there um, you know uh, as far as the technical aspects of the product go, what I do recommend is that you register your free account if you're interested and then import your data and just see what comes up. Um, you know, obviously your mileage may vary, but, but in conclusion, to, to wrap up this Optio review, uh, look, I, I think it's a good platform to be honest. Um, you know, it's not perfect. Uh, I don't think any of these products are perfect. You cannot use it as a total replacement of sort of knowledgeable setup and management of Google Ads campaigns, but as a assistance program you know for helping you I guess to cut out some of those more time consuming optimizations and almost get a second set of eyes on the account I think it's got a lot of validity I think you'll you know be impressed with the platform give it a trial uh, you know as I said you don't have to make the changes that are recommended you can just ignore them uh, and I'll frequently ignore changes that are made, recommended but equally if I see something good I'll push it out because guess what it seems to work pretty well um, you know, if, if you follow it diligently. I think Optio is definitely more aimed at the agency type business, you know, but that being said, if you are in-house, you're just managing an account for your employer or your own business, once again, the, there's some good opportunities to use Optio here. Um, the pricing, I think, is pretty fair, especially on the lower plan. Uh, you know, you, you basically kind of have to have a decent sized business before you've got to move up to the next plan. Uh, you know, and obviously if you've got that business that's big enough to justify that bigger plan then the pricing you know comparatively is probably not a bad deal anyway so yeah i think overall i, I would definitely recommend having a look at optio i can't guarantee it will get you better results from your google ads campaigns or those you manage for your clients but if you're looking for a platform to speed up management to give you some extra reassurance and, and monitoring around things like cost per conversion and account cost so you get a notification if it looks like you're going to exceed your budget for the month uh, if you want something sort of easy to be able to make quick wins well then i think optio is definitely worth a review so if you've used it i'd be keen to hear your your view in the comments uh you know maybe you really like it maybe you hate it whatever you think about it please do uh feel free to comment if you've got a question about the product please ask if you need any help with google ads get in touch with me thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time